I am Pastor Dele Roshilo, the state overseer of Deeper Life Bible Church, Ogo State. We are bringing to you the program, The Truth, featuring salvation, life, health, happiness, peace, and marriage, including child training and many others. The message is brought to you by Pastor W.F. Kumui, the General Superintendent of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry Worldwide. Happy viewing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every brother and every sister, every boy and every girl, all our invitees and everyone here. Lord, I pray tonight, this will be the moment of your might in every life, in Jesus' name. Touch everyone. Transform every life. Do something unforgettable in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Let everyone in this place experience the might of the Almighty. Confirm it to Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. As I've told you before, I'm telling you again, there will always be an amen in your life. Luke chapter 5. In Luke chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 4. Luke chapter 5, verse 4. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught you are going to catch. And in verse 5, And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken and have taken that gives people depression it gives them distress it gives them sorrow it makes them look at the future the future is bleak and black the future is like there's no future because we have nothing we have taken nothing nevertheless at thy watch tonight this moment of might i will let down the net and when they had this done they enclosed they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their nets break net breaking blessing tonight Net breaking breakthrough tonight. Net breaking prosperity tonight. Where there was nothing, everything is going to come. The giants, the giants of their gods, the giants of infirmity, the giants of uh, adversaries, the giants of nothingness, the giants of terror. Isaiah chapter 54, reading from verse 14. In righteousness shall thou be established. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. A new day has come. A new possibility has come. You'll be far from oppression in Jesus' name. Thou shalt not fear. Giants will not stop you. The fear of giants will not stop you. And from terror, for it shall not come near you. From terror, it shall not come near you. But 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 15. Jeremiah chapter 15. Jeremiah chapter 15. I'm reading here from verse 20. And I will make thee unto this people a faced brazen wall. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee, and to deliver thee, says the Lord. 
and I will deliver thee out of the hands of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hands of the terrible. You'll walk over them. You will march over them. You will move on in Jesus' name. Giants, G for gods, I for infirmity, A for adversaries, N for nothingness, T for terror, S for the storm. Storms of life hinder some people. And they cannot, you know, they're galloping and they're running and they're saying, I'm going there. I'm getting it. They're excited. All of a sudden, a storm arises. And that storm becomes like a giant standing before them. And it's like, oh, they've come again. They've started again. No, you're going to overcome. Yeah. I said, you will overcome. Yeah. Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4 verse 35 and the same day when the evening was come he says unto them he says unto you I said he says unto you let us pass over to the other side. You are going to the other side. You remained on this side for too long a time. Now the day of progress has come. The day of success has come. The day of achievement has come. The day of victory has come. The day of dominion has come. Let us pass over unto the other side. And when he had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. Look at this, look at this. Verse 37. And there arose... And there arose, and there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full, and he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they wake him up, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? No, you will not perish. He told you I will make you fishers of men. You cannot perish. He said you are going to reign over the twelve tribes of Israel. You cannot perish. He said these are my brothers, my sisters, and my mother. Doing the will of God. You cannot perish. He says I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you unto myself. So that where I am, there you will be also. How can you perish? Who is telling you a lie that you will perish? Who is deceiving you, blindfolding you that you will perish? You will not perish. I said you will not perish. In verse 39, and he arose, is arising for you. And he rebuked the wind, and he said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm in your life there's going to be a great calm. In your soul, there's going to be a great calm. That giant is defeated. The giant of the storm is conquered in your life in Jesus' name. Psalm 107, Psalm 107, I'm reading from verse 29, Psalm 107, verse 29, Psalm 107, tell me the verse. Look at it, look at it. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. The giant of a storm in your life, that thing that is roaring, that thing that is doing like they will swallow you up, everything is calm tonight. Verse 20, verse 20 of that same Psalm 107, he sent his word. Where is he sending the word tonight? He sent his word and he healed them. I can see them there. He healed them. I behold the healing there. He healed them. I see all the ache and all the pain and all the fever. And he healed them. I see the person that is saying, I didn't even want to come. I didn't know I could reach here today. And he healed them. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. 
giants are conquered tonight. You are going to move forward. Everything that tried to stop your way, the giants, they are conquered tonight. And with Caleb we shout, with Caleb we say, let us go up at once. Everybody, let us go up at once. For we are well able. I will go up. At once today. Even before this week runs out, I'm going to achieve. I said before this week runs out, you are going to achieve. You are well able. What are you? You are well able. You are well able. All the giants are cleared out of your way in Jesus' name. Point number three now. Point number three now. Confirming the measureless gifts of the Almighty. Confirmation tonight. My brother there, I say confirmation tonight. My sister, daughter there, I say confirmation tonight. Jeremiah, Jeremiah. I'm reading from verse 30, from chapter 32. Jeremiah, chapter 32. And I'm reading from verse 17. Jeremiah, chapter 32. We're reading from verse 17. You are conquering. Look at this art. Lord God, behold, that was made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arm and there is nothing too hard for thee in my life there is nothing too hard for thee all these challenges around you there is nothing too hard for him all this sickness all this infirmity there is nothing too hard for him you solve your problem tonight Verse 18, thou showest loving kindness unto thousands. Thou showest loving kindness unto thousands. The thousands are here tonight. Thou showest loving kindness unto, I said unto, He's blessing everybody tonight. How can he pass you by? He's saving all sinners tonight. How can he pass you by? He's sealing all sick people here tonight. How can he pass you by? He's showing his love to everyone, all the thousands here tonight. How can he pass you by? He shows loving kindness unto thousands and recompenses the iniquity of the fathers in the bosom of their children after them. And the great and mighty God, the Lord of hosts, is his name, great in counsel mighty in war for thine eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men to give everyone according to his ways according to the fruit of his doing he'll give you something before you go isaiah isaiah chapter 55 isaiah chapter 55 reading from verse 6 let ye seek ye the lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he's near let the wicked forsake his way, and the, and the righteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. Mercy tonight. Mercy tonight. Grace tonight. The goodness of God tonight, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways, my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, coming upon you, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, hither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth, and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be, so shall my promise be, so, so shall my strength be, so shall my word be, that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It shall accomplish. In your life tonight, it shall accomplish that, for we, that, that it shall accomplish that, that I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy. Tonight, ye shall go out with joy. Every day of this week, of this month, of this year, ye shall go out with joy. 
and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the sun shall come the fir tree. Instead of briar shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name and for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. God gives are available for you today. His offer of unlimited power is available for you today. Christ has paid the price and Christ has shed his blood so that you'll have the gift of salvation, full salvation. You'll have the gift of righteousness, the gift of sanctification, the gift of healing, the gift of health, the gift of endowment of power from on high. Power upon you tonight. Power baptism, fire baptism. Every chaff in your life, it will burn away tonight in Jesus' name. Complete deliverance. No partial deliverance tonight. I got a little, uh-uh. You're not getting a little tonight. You're getting complete deliverance in Jesus' name. Dominion. Authority. Sufficient supply. Answers to prayer. You're going to have a fuller life. You're going to have a richer life. You're going to have a deeper life. I've been hearing, I've been hearing of deeper life, deeper life, deeper life. And you know, I didn't even understand how deep it will be, how high it will be, how broad it will be, how great it will be tonight, tonight. Somebody there tonight. You're going to have richer life, deeper life, fuller life in Jesus' name. Higher life, greater life, the inner life, all things are available for you now. Happiness, that's yours. Healing, that's yours. Holiness, that's yours. And heaven, that's yours. Inheritance, that is yours. Because tonight we come to the Almighty. I said tonight, you come to the Almighty. Every prayer you pray tonight will be answered. Everything you open your mouth to tell the Lord tonight, it is done already in Jesus' name. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, Now unto him that is able to do. Is our God able to do tonight? Is the Almighty able to do tonight? He will do. I said he will do. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or see. I'm going to go back there because I need, this one is just for me. I said this one is for me. I said this one is for me. Unto him that is able. Unto him that is able. Able to do. Exceeding abundantly. Above all that I ask. All that I think, according to the power that walketh in me, unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all ages, worlds without end. And somebody said, Amen. Amen has entered your house. Amen has entered your heart. This is your moment, your moment of might, your moment of might. I see amen reaching on your forehead. I see amen on your way. Step amen. Amen. As you are walking, one, two, one, two, amen, amen, amen. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, amen, amen. Amen. This is the moment. This is the moment of his might. The moment of his power. The moment of his provision. And the moment of your miracle. It's doing it tonight. It's doing it tonight. It's doing it tonight. It's doing it tonight. It's your moment. It's your moment. This moment will not pass you by. It will forgive your sin. This moment will not pass you by. It will break every chain, every shackle in your life. This moment will not pass you by. It will heal your sickness. He'll provide for you. All those giants are cancelled. All the gods of the land against your life. 
All of them, they are brought down tonight. All of them, they are brought down tonight. That's an amen in your life. Amen, so let it be. Count it down. Count it down. It's done. It's done. It's done. Thank you. Praise him. Have unshakable confidence. It's done. That's an amen now in your life. Amen in your heart. Amen to your prayer. The Lord has answered you. The Lord has answered you. The Lord has answered you. Amen. In your heart, amen. On your way, amen. In your family, amen. Against every giant in your life, amen. The promise is fulfilled. The miracle is performed. The answer is given. Give an amen you are going to take back home. It's done. It's done. It's done. In Jesus' name we pray. God, to every brother here, to every sister here, to every boy, every girl here, let the angels give an amen to their prayer. Lord, I pray all the powers of the gods of the hidden, they are broken down today in Jesus' name. Infirmity, impotence, sickness, weakness, demonic attack, go out in Jesus' name. Incurable disease, incurable sickness, we reject them tonight. In this moment of his might, be healed in Jesus' name. Brain problem and insanity. Madness running in the family. All those psychological problems. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every adversary and every enemy that has followed anyone here and they cannot achieve, they could not achieve, they could not make progress, adversaries, you are conquered in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray, this state of having nothing, no work, no child, no wife, the giant of Mr. Terrible, Mrs. Terrible, running after them, Mr. Terrible, I command you, get out in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray for every child of God here, every form of fear that gives you a setback. I cancel that fear in Jesus' name. Lord, all the storms in their lives, my brother there, my sister there, my child, my daughter there, storm, storm, storm. Be calm in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, open the windows of heaven. Upon everyone here tonight, everyone here tonight, without exception, open the windows of heaven. Shower it down. Blessing, shower it down. Provision, shower it down. Salvation, shower it down. Victory, shower it down. Oh Lord, breakthrough, shower it down. Testimonies over there. 
Testimonies over there. Testimonies over there. Oh Lord, I pray this will be the moment of turning around of every life. It is done. It is done. It is confirmed. Confirm each and every life in Jesus' name. And grant everyone here tonight a testimony. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is happened. We well, thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Any amen there? Amen on the road. Amen in the way. Amen in the night. Amen in the day. Amen from heaven upon your life. I am sure you are blessed. You can contact us through any of the phone numbers displayed on the screen. However, you can visit us at any of our church locations in the state. In particular, the church state headquarters located at Sam Ewang Estate, Leme Abeokuta. Our fellowships hold on Sundays, 8 a.m. for the Sunday worship service, on Mondays for the expository and systematic study of the Bible. On Thursdays, 6 p.m. for Miracle and Revival Hour. See you same time, same station next week. Remain blessed.